This is Twit. We have a really interesting guest now, um, who's somebody who's been with Microsoft for a long time in various roles. Some people may know him as Mr. OneNote, I believe, from his oh, previous don't. life. <laughs> uh, and, but now he's working on something new because he's got as his title, Corporate Vice President of Windows. This is Chris Prattley. Chris, thank you for coming on the show. This is great. Oh, thanks for having me. Nice. So you got to tell us what you're doing at Microsoft because <laughs> <laughs> we're kind of yourself, in the sir. dark. Yeah. So uh, I'm the I'm in charge of the Studio Remix project, which we sorry, Story Remix project, which we announced today. Um, we've been working on it for a while, and uh, I have to say I'm having a great time today because it's just it's one of the you don't get to launch new products every day. Let's just say okay. so. It's pretty great. Uh, Dave, um, for the team and for me. Um, and I was really excited to see the reaction people are having to the product. What we really wanted to do with it was to make it incredibly easy, whether you know what you want to do or you have no idea and just need inspiration, to tell your story through media. And as we all know, media is exploding all over the place. Uh, videos and photos are filling up everyone's hard drives and cloud storage. And the idea was, how do we make that something accessible? And that's what we're showing today. Very cool. We we heard some hints, I think, a year ago or so about something that Microsoft was doing that was called Evoke Studio. And we heard they were building a storytelling app, but that was like all we really knew. And so everybody was trying to guess what was what was that and what would that look like? So when I when I saw the um, remix app that you did today, I, I thought a lot about Sway, which you also were involved with. Right. It, there were a lot of things in there that reminded me of how you can really use video remix um, in a way like you can use Sway to tell a story in a different way and you don't have to be a video remixing expert to use this tool. Is yeah, that the idea? True. Yeah. Yeah, there's uh, there definitely what, what you see in both those applications and you'll actually see it in more and more of the products and experiences that we're making in, in Windows and Microsoft these days is the idea of infusing AI and deep learning techniques into the software experience. So if you think about like, say 20 years ago, the standard was, here's a lot of buttons and you can spend the time to learn how to press those buttons and do the right thing, but it's a very manual process. And what we're seeing even just in the last five years, and if you remember when you and I talked about Sway a couple years ago, I mentioned that there's this revolution coming in, this, in the AI space where we can learn from your data, we can encode in, in uh, an AI system the skills of a professional designer. And what you see in Story Remix is kind of an evolution of that idea where we've done deep machine learning on all sorts of sets of video and photos so we can understand not just, oh, there's a person in here, but who is that person? Which of the pixels in the image are that person? Which are the background? Uh, these pixels are a dog. This is the ground. These are the walls. And once you have that level of deep understanding of what's in media, and you can do personalization off of how people use their media, what they view the most often and so on, then we can take all that data, put it through our AI system, and tell the story for you if you don't have the time or the inclination to learn how to use a tool. And on the flip side, we don't want to do everything automatically for you and cut you out of the process. So really the idea is, again, if you, if you know what you're doing, you can use that as a starting point. And I'm sure we've all had that moment of blank page terror where you're like, I don't know where to start. And so we just say, how about this? And if you don't like it, that's where this remix button comes in. And that is very similar to Sway. I don't know if that's what I want, but I want to see what else there is. Oh, I like that, but what else is there? And it's just a click. And the idea is instead of forcing you to make all the decisions up front and be correct, which gives a lot of people anxiety, it's more like you go into a, a clothing store and you say, uh, do I like this dress or that dress? You know, this suit or that suit? Everyone can say they like something better than another thing. It's not a high anxiety decision. And so we start you there, and the more you want to dig in, and you see it in the video, uh, the more you want to customize and drop in your own special effects and things from the Remix 3D community, or change the order, or tweak the music, whatever you want to do, we have the flexibility in there. But if you don't know what you're doing or you don't have time, then you can do something too. Is there a Microsoft Graph connection to this? somehow 
Yeah, there is. Um, as the Microsoft Graph gets filled out with more and more data types, yep. uh, we expect to be using it more and more. Um, one of the things we're already looking into is using the graph to do continuity of mo like mobility of experience across devices. So if you're on the PC working on a story and you pick up your phone, when you launch the Story Remix app, or if you've got Cortana on your phone, it'll say, hey, you were just working on your PC on this task, making a video. Do you want to just jump right into Story Remix on the phone and continue from there? And it works in the other direction as well. And so, and even from PC to PC, of course. So the idea is, you know, we a lot of us do this. We go to work, you got a machine at work, you're working, you go home, you want to pick up where you left off. And that's where the Microsoft Graph provides that continuity. And then as the platform fills out, we expect to use it to carry your personalization across devices as well as, as anything else we can think of that makes sense to make the machine you're working on no longer this uh, like unique object that you have to carry with you. I can just move from machine to machine and it's fluid. That's mobility of experience that Satch often talks about.